Hello everyone, welcome back to Unmol Astrology channel. This video is about Sad Sati or Saturn transit for the people with fifth house moon. Okay, let's share the screen. Yeah, so if you have moon in the fifth house, just a second. Yeah, so if you have moon in the fifth house, so Sadi Sati begins when your Saturn transits in the fourth house over your moon in the fifth house and in the sixth house. So for people with moon in the fifth house, Sadi Sati actually has a lot of mixed results. It can be a little off the track for you. Why? Because fifth house is originally the domain of Leo. And then you are getting your Sarasati. So definitely, there are going to be results which will not be very comfortable for you. So first of all, when Saturn comes over, it's so, uh, sorry, Saturn comes into the fourth house and it starts with your Sarasati. It comes 12th from your moon in the fourth house. That first of all means you are going to isolate yourself. You'll feel the urge to be in isolation, to be in your own space. This is also going to dive you much, much deeper into research. This research can be with the astrology. This can be with occult sciences or it can be through anything which has a creative element. But since it is Sarasati, it always plays with your head. It gives you circumstances. It is burdening. That's why it's most of all people dive into astrology because they want to look for answers. They want to know why things are happening. So, you know, first thing is very um, fundamental for everyone with Sarasati that when it comes in, it just shook, you know, takes your ground away. It just gives you um, something when which you would be able to say that yes, it just was very transformative time or it was a time when my life just went 360 degree. Everything was going smooth, but suddenly this happened. So when you know you see people saying like saying this and um, discussing their uh, life uh, life duration with you, and they'd say something like this, then my life was going good till this year, but then it there was a, a three sixty degree transformation. That is when Sarasati happens for them. So when Saturn comes into the fourth house and it goes twelfth from the moon, this actually isolates a person. It gives research tendencies. It can actually make you, uh, you know, do make some expenditure on your home. More than buying a home, it's actually about incurring an expenditure over home. Or it could even mean the people, for people, uh, you know, for people who are living overseas or living away from their home, they might buy or purchase a home away from their homeland away from their born so this can be a situation which can happen with fifth house moon when they start with their sarasati so in the initial stage it's not actually that everything goes away from them but yes if saturn is in the fourth house and suppose i'm just giving an example if suppose it's a, it comes over mars for an individual that it can actually initiate a, a, a property dispute within your family Right. So because of this, there are fights and there are, you know, situations related to property and this property dispute. If this happens, it is actually going to go for seven and a half years till Saturn is here, because when Saturn is going to come into your sixth house, that is the time when it is going to suppress that dispute or suppress your enemies in legal terms. So Saturn firstly will create these situations now saturn when comes into the fourth house it 
already makes you a cold individual. It gives you that reality check. It actually, you know, makes you go away from that comfortable zone. So you are, you, you suddenly develop a thing that way you do not feel comfortable anymore. Because fifth house moon people, they are like, you know, that's the Leo energy or that's the fifth house energy. They are tension seekers. They are always on a go. They are very much into learning things mm -hmm. they are very much into getting attention from the outside so when saturn comes here it actually suppresses all of these things so you might start feeling very uncomfortable with such situations or you want you will not be able to gel into such things very easily like it it used to happen before so this saturn can also actually uh you know uh can be a placement which can make you move from your homeland that more so will happen when the retrogression happens and also it gives you recognition and it gives you support from the public so it can also give you fame so you see people getting sudden fame that can also be because of that then its third aspect comes over the sixth house you have to take care of your health your nut nutrition your enemies your well-being and what you're eating then the tenth aspect again on the first house definitely health can be the concern so you have to take care of your health then Saturn is going to travel into the fifth house. So I have repetitively telling whenever Saturn travels into the fifth house, it activates romance for an individual, but it's like a serious romance or a long-term one. It also activates the childbirth for a male, but when in the fourth house, it activates the childbirth of a you know, if you are a female and and then you have Saturn transit in the fourth house, it is going to start that pregnancy period. And then in the fifth house for people, for males, it could initiate the process. Then fifth house is also about children. It is also about education. So I've seen people having Saturn in the fifth, Saturn transit in the fifth house, they might start with some higher education, they get an opportunity for higher education, but that comes in with a delay or that comes within, within you know, some sort of gap. Then it could even give you the responsibility of children if you have a child or if you are about to have a child. But if you are at that education stage, then it is going to give you results related to your education only right and then the fifth house is most importantly about investments and it is about shares and all the speculative business so i have seen a lot of people as you know as soon as saturn is about to enter the fifth house people start developing the urge to invest into shares so when your moon is in the fifth house and saturn comes over this particular house over your moon i would not suggest you to actually you know invest a lot of money in shares if you want to invest do invest but either in the form of property or in the form of long-term investments but no short-term things because saturn in the fifth house has a tendency to corrupt your intelligence you would see people with saturn in the fifth house undoubtedly these people are innovators but you know saturn is what saturn actually put puts you into boundaries so fifth house is your intelligence now your intelligence does not have a you know a endless boundary it doesn't it is actually now restricted so you will see what saturn wants you to see so this will actually cause focus and determination so definitely you will have that but you will see only within a boundary you would not see beyond a boundary or you would not be visionaries so that's why whatever amount of knowledge that you would have at that point of time you will only use that and it is not necessary that is the only piece of information which can be useful to get good results 
So definitely when Saturn comes into the fifth house, it restricts your intelligence. It restricts your decisions. It restricts your capacity of thinking beyond you know what is expected so that's why we do not suggest them to actually dive into shares or you know you know uh, the frequent profits shares that's we always always tell them because they do have a futuristic uh, thinking we do tell them to invest into shares which are long terms or make some long term investments or invest into properties something like that Right, because that way you know that your money is right now secured and you are expecting something to come as a return for a long period of time. Right, but definitely it gives you that greediness, it gives you that you know, the, in your surroundings, you will see you will get you know people towards you and you know you know they are saying that i got this much profit from this you should invest here you should invest there but please do do look for your intelligence or look wherever the sign of capricorn goes whenever there is a problem with saturn see wherever the sign of capricorn is in your chart ask that person you know, for the suggestion, if suppose Capricorn is in the seventh house, ask your spouse, is it, it is in the fourth house, ask your uh, mother, if it is in the ninth house, ask your father, if it is in third house, ask your younger sibling, so you can take suggestions from them, okay, but Saturn, wherever it goes, it actually puts in boundaries, that's why in the fourth house also, it isolates you and puts you in the boundary but of course since moon it comes over the moon it gives focus and determination to the moon so if you are planning to educate yourself you are going to give some competitive exam although i've always seen whenever people have saturn transit in the fifth and in the sixth on the verge of it they always are trying for some government exam or some competitive exam so definitely you should go for that because it is actually going to make you focus on something which is going to be productive in the future and then when saturn is in the fifth house it aspects it gives a third aspect which is the aspect where you have to put all your efforts and your courage is required that is in the seventh house so at that point there is going to be some situation related to your marriage either you can get an opportunity for the marriage or if you are within a marriage, you will get an opportunity where you have to show courage towards marriage or you will have to work a lot harder towards your marriage. Okay, so marriage is a concerned area at that point. Definitely there is going to be recognition because the seventh aspect of support and recognition goes into the 11th house. It is also about mass population, larger public. So that's why Saturn's seventh aspect on the 11th house can actually make you gain through your social circle. Right? And then the 10th aspect will be on the second house. So it's like you'll have a very karmic relationship with your finances. If you're working, if you're putting your money in a good, uh, you know, manner or in a good productive, uh, uh, you know, investments, you're going to get good results. But if you're not misusing money, if you're misusing wealth, or if you're doing some malpractices related to money with other people, then you're going to get affected there. And then you would not receive the good fruits of Saturn. So, you know, fifth house moon, most of all I've seen that there is some karma related to finances. So whenever their Saturn is there, Sade Sati starts, something related to finances has to happen. Something, some significant loss or some significant profit even or some significant thing that they are liable to do in terms of finances that happens. I have most of all also seen people having permanently moon and Saturn in the fifth house or Saturn transiting over their moon in the fifth house. I've seen them, you know, doing some malpractices related to money. Somehow the surroundings or the circumstances make them do it. If you permanently have that placement, 
that can that can be that you, maybe you are doing it from a longer time and that's not that because of the circumstances but when saturn transits over that moon then they might do that uh, you know, because the circumstances are like that, that they have to cheat for money. They have to do something related to the money. Okay. So this is something I've seen very frequently happening. Right. And then Saturn coming into the sixth house. See, sixth house is the house of your routine. It is the house of your health. It is the house of your colleagues, work environment, right work environment and your nutrition your digestive system debts legal matters um uh, disputes divorce from the marriage so when saturn comes into the sixth house this can be a very heavier placement but for a person with more in the fifth house saturn comes into the sixth house it's second from the moon and then it is originally the sixth house so the Artha houses gets activated. You can get out of all the clutter that was made previously with your transits on the fourth and fifth. Now you can get out of it. You can finally see stability of money coming within your life. So again, what Saturn does, it sets you in a boundary. It makes you determined towards that house. It makes you focused towards that house. And rather, I would say as a remedial measure, it is necessary for you to do that. It is necessary for you to, you know, be focused towards the sixth house matters. It is necessary for you to be involved and to be systematic with your debts, with your money, with your expenses, with where you are putting your money. If you have taken money, you are, have to give that back without any backlogs, without, uh, you know, just uh, telling them I'll give uh, on that date and then putting another date that putting another date. No. Whatever you want to do, you tell them clearly what you want to do. This is a remedy for 6th house Saturn. If you are saying I will reach the place at 10 p.m., you are going to reach at 10 p.m. If you do that, that if you have, you are reaching at 11 p.m., I'm telling you, you are just disturbing your Saturn. You're ruining your Saturn. So Saturn in the Artha houses says that be the man or the woman of your words. So when Saturn is in the sixth house, be careful of your health. Be careful of your disputes. Try not to be the first person to fight. Do respond, but do not be the initiator of any dispute. Because Saturn in the sixth house is like, it is going to ultimately suppress your conflicts. It is going to ultimately, dis you know, suppress your disputes. But you should not be the reason to start them at the first place. Unlike Rahu, unlike Mars, right? Just try to sit and see reality sticking hard to your enemies but definitely sixth house uh, saturn is a good placement and when the transit comes in definitely it arises situations of conflicts fights enmities and things like that and also since it's 12th from the seventh house it can give you some sort of disturbance for some for time to time within your marriage as well and it could create hospitalization of your uh you know mar you know not marriage of your wife because it's 12th from moon from the seventh house it can create that you know visiting hospitals visiting uh, you know the clinics it's some uh, some problems related to health and of course since fifth house activation was also there for you it can even be that your wife is just pregnant and she is just you know um getting to go into um you know uh, the delivery or if you are um you are a female then it could mean that there could be some health issues that your partner is going to face but sixth house saturn will can also give you uh, issues related to stone something related to your digestive system because of which you will be actually forced to look after your digestion, look after your nutrition. That's why we ask you to do it prior, do it early, then Saturn coming into the sixth house. 
right? So sixth house, Saturn can give you disputes. It, it also, one thing is said that whenever Saturn travels in the sixth house or the 12th house, do not buy leather products because Saturn is associated with that. So you should not buy that. You should rather donate them. So ask someone else to buy them for you if you want something. Like, you know, everyone wants shoes. Everyone wants hand handbags, right? So ask your husband or ask your wife, ask your mother, father, anyone to buy them for you. Okay. <clears throat> then the third aspect of Saturn from the sixth house goes into the eighth house. So there are efforts that are to be made towards your inheritance and your maybe insurance money, maybe your relationship with the in-laws as well, right? And also eighth house is about any secrets or it is about the joint assets, so any joint money that you have with anyone, anyone, absolutely anyone, and also with your partner as well. So you'll have to work harder to get all of these things. This can also be related to gambling. So when Saturn is in the fifth house, I would never suggest a person to gamble because definitely they can face huge losses there. Then the 12th, uh, seventh aspect is in the 12th house. So there could be travel. There could be filing of visas or receiving of visa or receiving of some, uh, you know, travel visa, uh, business visa, uh, job visa, visitor visa, anything like that. This is, sub this is going to happen when Saturn comes into the sixth. There's support from the foreign lands or foreign government. Okay, and the all the it it's actually it's actually very supportive in spiritual matters also. But you know what? When Saturn comes into the sixth house, it'll actually make you so occupied into the artha things of your life that you would actually not get that time for spirituality. But in the back of your mind, you'll always think about getting towards it. And definitely you will be able to go towards it. But it's like it's it's like a tug of war that goes around. Sometimes you're very you're in, inclining spiritually and you're thinking about it, but sometimes you are into the matters that you have to deal with in your life. And this time actually refines you big time. Saturn coming into the sixth house, that actually makes you very careful and very calculative with money. If you have been a person who has been just you know spending recklessly. This is going to give you that sense of how to spend, where to spend, how to become a, a person, you know, who can multiply, multiply their finances. Okay. And the, then the 10th aspect goes into the third house. So definitely you'll have to work 10 times harder. Definitely. Because third house is already about working hard. And then the 10th aspect comes in. 10th aspect again is about your karma, about your hard, hard work about your society. So definitely these people, since it is the third house and since it is the 10th aspect, these people can get good recognition from small circles, small circles or neighborhood. So if you are thinking of getting some, you know, fruits out of some sort of uh, work that you can do, do it towards your society, within your uh, small society, within your neighbors. Try to work around, try to trade there. And this house is also for marketing. So this actually activates your marketing skills. It, in, it enriches your marketing skills. It, it actually makes it good. And you use those marketing skills within your career as well because it is 10th aspect of Saturn. Okay, so these are the things that you will see as a part of your Saturn transit with having moon in the fifth house. But remember, fifth house moon, that's the energy of Leo, regardless of wherever, whatever sign that you have your moon in. But it is the energy of fifth house. It is the energy of Leo. You, you want to be like a king. You are a, a king in yourself. So, you know, Saturn coming over you, your moon and into different houses, it actually makes you go way opposite that particular, you know, uh, qualities. It, it wants you to may be at service. It wants you to be a person who is not there for themselves, who is not self-obsessed, who is not narcissist. It wants you to work towards people 
not yourself, towards your children, towards your relatives, towards your debts, towards your mother, towards your home. It wants you to now think of other people rather than yourself. It will give you fame. Definitely, I've seen people with fifth house moon and their Sarasati starts in, they do get immense fame. But the condition is only when you stop thinking about yourself because Leo is undoubtedly a very self-absorbed sign. When Saturn comes there, you have to go beyond the energy. Otherwise, what happens is that you become narcissistic. You become so self-absorbed that you just lack that energy to be at service. So that's what is needed to be changed so as to, so as to get good results of this Sarasati. Otherwise, this Sarasati can actually give you more of bad results even. Right? But the more of bad results, it's actually related to the personality. Like in the case of moon in the fourth house, we discussed it's it's more related to one's emotions, one's private space. But with fifth house moon, it's more related to, to their personality because it's one of the dharma houses. It's your morality. It's your dharma. It's your personality, your physical, even your physical appearance. Okay, guys, so this is what this Saturn can do for you. And this is my analysis related to your Sarisati. I hope this helps. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. And if you guys would like to have your personal readings, you can check out the link below. I also have discounts going on right now. And this is like valid till 28th only. So you can check that out www.unmoleastrology.com and under the reading section you can book a personal reading for yourself under your unique reading section you can book a unique reading for yourself see you in the next video bye bye take care